Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next video checking in on the prospect rankings from a couple years ago post the 16 draft by the Hockey News. As I did one on Alexander Texier yesterday, I'll be linking that at the end if you want to check that out. As obviously he moved way up from being ranked 100th back then to being well rewarded for his passing and just overall playing ability. Check out that video if you want to learn more on him. But Carl Grundstrom is an interesting cat. He was ranked at the 99th spot. Obviously, Alexander Texier would be ahead of Grundstrom, has had a very successful early run in the NHL this far, where Grundstrom's just starting to really hit his stride this season. But he's a guy that obviously had SHL experience, um, so when people thought when he came over that he would have an immediate impact, particularly because he in the 17-18 season did well in the SHL playoffs if they're doing good in the SHL in general. 17 goals in 35 games uh, for 24 points with the 7 assists to go with it. And then in 20 games at the Marlies that season, he had 8 goals, 6 assists for 14 points. Uh, Grundstrom, then when he came up, had a good cup of coffee with the Kings, who of course got him from the Maple Leafs. 5 goals, 1 assist, 6 points. Not the best defensive cat you're going to get. But Carl Grundstrom has... Um, over time, it seems like he's a guy that has bought a lot more, and he's at six foot two oh one, so big for his size. You see a lot of guys at six foot in the one nineties, some in the one eighties even. Uh, he's playing very good for Todd McClellan, though. It looks like Todd McClellan might kind of be the guy for him. Um, where in this particular season, this far playing with, uh, well Anderson Dolan just came back, but playing with Trevor Moore. Uh, they've both been doing pretty well together. Five goals, one assist, six points in 18 games. <clears throat> Where for Grundstrom, the five goals um, that he had with the Kings in his first season, other than the six-goal <clears throat> season he had in 47 games, which is really not a great output. The five goals in 15 and a good cup of coffee um, is... Definitely on pace to get past his career high. He had 6-5 and five for 11 points in 2021. Grundstrom's a guy that it seemed like he's one of the perfect examples of, like Craig Eagle said on the podcast, with Yurif, that is in Flyers Nitty Gritty. Check that out if you want to go check that out over at Flyers Nitty Gritty. Uh, you can check out that podcast where you have to be patient with certain guys. you got to let them develop their skating, let them develop their overall game. Well, Grundstrom did good in the SHL, so everybody kind of jumped on the buck. And also, he did very good in his first AHL stint, only playing a couple regular season games, and then came in basically with the Nikita Kucherov of the AHL and lit it up in the postseason. So, um, he's a guy that obviously would be probably at the 100 spot for right now as you go through the rest of this list. We'll see if he would remain there. But he's a guy that's starting to find his own, doing really well um, with McClellan over there. Well, I really liked him in that cup of coffee in eighteen nineteen. Obviously, I didn't like what I saw from him last year in 47 games, but he did very well in the secondary league when he went over to Hockey House of Benken, which is the second league in uh, Sweden, and killed it there, which is exactly what you would want to see from somebody like Rundstrom. Comes back here, has a very good year this year, starting to find chemistry with more, a guy that you can slide between the lineup a little bit. Um, and he's a guy that really has seemed to kind of find his tune uh, with the L.A. Kings. So we'll see how it keeps going for Carl Grundstrom. Can he stay consistent? He's only 24 years old, though, and he's a perfect example that fits people into the category of be patient with certain guys, obviously. He had a good 18-19 campaign in a cup of coffee. He didn't really do anything in a cup of coffee in 19-20. Was off last year and then comes back and gets it going this year. Some prospects just take a while. Uh, he was picked in 16. Uh, he took a little bit longer than expected. But, you know, he's here now, and here and now is all that matters. And it looks like he is going to get it going. And just like me, he's a December birthday, so automatically love him for that. But Carl Grunstrom's a player that I always thought had more in his stick than he showed early on in his career. And he's showing that this year, finally getting it going with the Kings in a fourth-line capacity. So peace out, everybody, and stay safe. Have a great rest of your day, and enjoy the rest of the NHL season.